Lord Howe Island studying the potential impacts of these microplastics on a range of the wildlife species here and around the island. So far we've been focusing on um, the flesh-footed shearwaters, which is one of the predominant seabird species here on the island. And they're known to eat large quantities of plastic, which we see very large quantities here on the beach. So we were working in the colony last night and came across this small bird. This is a chick. Um, it's the time of year when these chicks should be getting ready to leave the nest and head to sea for the first time. Um, we noticed right away that this one was quite underweight, he's very thin, um, and uh, we decided to bring him back and take a look at him because we could feel at the bottom of his uh, abdomen here some plastic potentially through the body. So we'll open him up and take a look and see what we can find inside. So we can see right away that there is a very significant quantity of plastic inside of this poor bird. Um, he should have weighed somewhere around a thousand grams and um, he only weighs right now about 500 so he's about half of his body mass. There's no doubt that this bird died as a result of this plastic ingestion. Basically the species forages by picking up a lot of scraps off the surface of the ocean, particularly you know dead bits of squid and uh, they can't uh, distinguish the plastic pieces. Very, very significant quantity of plastic inside this bird. It's quite remarkable. Um, um, uh, this kind of speaks for itself. This is shocking. Um, there's still quite a few small um, pieces floating around in here, which we'll, we'll take out. But I'm going to guess the final tally is probably well over 100 pieces of plastic in this one bird. So, 98, 99, 100. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 110, 111, 112. So just the big pieces here from this one individual, 112 pieces above about 5 millimeters. These are the macro pieces. It's a fairly significant number.